ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு இசி ஜே ஸ்குவாட்டி சேனல் வணக்கம் நமஸ்கார் ஸ்வாகத்தம் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் டேட்டா என்கிரிப்ஷன் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஸோ த டேட்டா என்கிரிப்ஷன் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டிஇஎஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் ஆஸ் டேட்டா என்கிரிப்ஷன் அல்காரிதம் பை ஆன்சி ஆர் பை ஐஎஸ்ஓ ஹாஸ் பீன் cryptographic algorithm used for over two decades okay des has uh, been found vulnerable against very powerful attacks and therefore the popularity of des has been slightly on the decline so the origin of des go back to 1972 in the us the national bureau of standards now known as national institute of standards and technology nist embarked upon a project for protecting the data in computers and computer communication so they wanted to develop a single cryptographic algorithm so after two years of uh, repeated research they they found this uh, des algorithm so this des is nothing but data encryption standard so how a data encryption standard works so the basic uh, principle behind it is like des is a block cipher and it encrypts data in block of uh, size 64 bits each so this is 64 bit of plain text goes as the input to the des so this is the this is the 64 bit plain text okay so this goes as input to the des algorithm and we have a key which is a 56 bit key okay the key length is 56 so the basic idea is this uh, diagram this is a conceptual working of des so to the des algorithm so to this data encrypted system algorithm we give a plain text which is of 64 bit as input and key 56 bit a key we will give to this algorithm and obviously we will get a 64 bit the same 64 bit cipher text okay so this cipher text will includes this secret information plus this our message that is plain text okay so des uses a 56 bit key actually the initial key consists of 64 bits however before the des process even starts every eighth bit of the key is discarded to produce a 56 bit key see once here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these are all the bits key bits so in that every eighth bit is discarded okay discarding of every eighth bit of the original key okay so the, this is what this 824 so these are the bits we are going to discard it so original 64 bit key key after key discarding process we will get a 56 bit key okay so this is what how we will get a 56 bit key from 64 bit key okay so uh, steps involved in uh, this des so des is based on the two fundamental attributes of cryptography one is substitution and the other one is transposition okay so des consists of 16 steps each of which is called as a round so each step we will call it as rounds each round performs the steps of substitution and transposition each round will undergo one 16 steps okay in the first step the 64 bit so this is what plain text block is added over to an initial permutation that is ip function so the initial permutation is performed on a uh, plain text so this is this initial permutation so this is performed on the plain text next the initial permutation produces two half halves of the permuted block so it will after undergoing after the data plain text undergoes this initial permutation it will be divided into equal positions like two left plain text and right plain text so lpt rpt left plain text and right plain text in the end and lpt and rpt are rejoined and final permutation is performed on the combined block so we will get six, after the 16 rounds we will get the final permutation so the result of this process produces 64 bit cipher text so, okay 
so initial uh, permutation we will do after that final permutation after final permutation we will get the data encrypted cipher data okay now rounds so each of the 16 round in turn consist of broad level step one is key transformation expansion permutation s box substitution p box permutation xor and sap so these are the step by step procedure so the first step is key transformation so what we will do in this key key transformation so uh, initially 64 bit key is transformed into a 56 key by discarding every eighth bit of the initial key so thus for each round a 56 key is available so from this 56 bit key a different 48 uh, bit sub key is generated during each round using a process called key transformation so this key transformation is nothing but we are going to undergo 8 48 bit sub key after generating the each round okay for this the 56 bit key is divided into two halves each each one is 28 bits so these halves are circularly shifted left by one or two position depending on the round so this is what the key transformation means next is expansion permutation so after the initial permutation we have uh, two 32 bit plain text areas called left plain text and right plain text so during expansion permutation the rpt is expanded from 32 bits to 48 bits so beside increasing the bit size from 32 to 48 the bits are permitted as well so hence the name expansion permutation is given so this happens how see the very first thing is the 32 bit rpt is divided into eight blocks okay which with each block consisting of four bits so this is what okay eight blocks or a converter like we have taken from that right plain text okay each um, four bit block of the above step is extended to a corresponding six bit block so that is per four bit block two more bits are added so for what those are all added they are actually the repeated first and the fourth bits of the fourth bit block so the second and the third bits are written down as they were the input so this is what how how uh, first after taking out the rpt right plain text we will divide it into eight blocks each four bits next what we will do we will do permutation expansion permutation will take place we will circular the packets okay after that we have xbox substitution so xbox substitution is nothing but it is a process that accepts the four uh, 48 bit input from the xor operations involving the compressed key and expanded rpt and produces a 32 bit output using the substitution technique so the substitution is performed by eight substitution boxes so each of the eight x boxes has a six bit input and a four bit output so the 48 bit input block is divided into eight sub blocks okay and each sub block is given to a s box so the x box transforms the six bit input into a four bit output that is what this so this uh, diagram this figure depicts the s box substitution okay so if you see again how to substitute the x box from the key transformation we have compressed the 56 bit key to 48 bit key and we are giving that to xor and we are taking right plain text uh, data that is uh, that is the output from the expansion permutation like expand rpt from 32 bits to 48 bits and then given to xor so the output of the key transformation and expansion permutation are given to xor after that we will get s box substitution okay this is how uh, this is how the xbox xbox substitution will be going on next is p box permutation so the output of s box consists of 32 bits so these 32 bits are permuted using a p box this straightforward permutation mechanism involves simple permutation so this is called the p box permutation after p box permutation what will happen we have xor and swap so xor and swap is nothing but 
note that we have been performing all this operation only on the 32 bit right half of the portion okay so all this will be repeated for left plain text also okay so the first original 64 bit plain text block will undergo 32 bit left plain lpt and 32 bit rtp after that what we will do we will do xr and we will get 32 bit left lpt and 32 bit rpt so next round it will go if any rounds are present if it is the final round then final permutation will be there so at the end of the 16 rounds the final permutation is performed so this is a simple transposition so for instance if you take 40th bit takes the position of the first output and it goes so on okay the output of the final permutation is the 64 bit encrypted block next is des decryption so till now we had encrypted the message now we need to decrypt the message so we might get a feeling that it is an extremely complicated and encryption scheme and therefore the de decryption using uh, DES would employ a completely different approach. To most people's surprise, the same algorithm used for en encryption in DES also works for decryption. Okay, The values of the various tables and the operations as well as the sequence are so carefully chosen that the algorithm is reversible. Okay next the analysis of des so we use uh, the use of s boxes key length uh, differential and linear cryptanalysis and timing and attacks so use of x boxes if you see kept secret so the use of uh, the tables used for substitution that is the x boxes in des are kept secret okay we don't have access unauthorized person outside person can't access those boxes because those gives the security to this algorithm next is key key length so we have mentioned earlier that an any cryptographic system has two important accepts the cryptographic algorithm and the key so the inner workings of des algorithm are completely known to the general public therefore the strength of des lies only in the other aspects and its keys so which we must be kept secret. So as we know, DES uses 56-bit keys. Thus, there are 256 possible keys. That's, uh, that it uh, seems that a brute force attacks on DES is impracticable. Okay. So timing attacks refers more to asymmetric key cryptography. However, they can also apply to symmetric key cryptography so the idea is simple observe how long it takes for the cryptographic algorithm to decrypt different blocks of cipher text the idea is to try and obtain either the plain text or the key used for de uh, description uh, by observing those uh, timing so in general it would take uh, different amounts of time to decrypt different sized cipher text blocks okay we have linear cryptanalysis and differential cryptanalysis so in 1990 shamir introduced the concept of differential cryptanalysis so this method looks at pairs of cipher text whose plain texts have particular differences the technique analysis and the process of this difference of all difference okay and another person uh Matsu, invented the linear cryptanalysis attack is based on linear approximations if we use xr some plain text bit, bits will be together so xr some cipher text bits together and then xr results will get a single bit so the description of these attacks are quite complex so with this the des algorithm will be completed uh, bye. Uh, I'll uh, meet you in the next video. Thank you.